Hey everybody, my name's Jackson and I'm part of a special community called People Loving Nashville. For the past 11 years, the group has been meeting some of Nashville's most vulnerable residents every Monday night, many of whom are experiencing homelessness. We're blessed to be able to provide great food, clothing, and other physical needs in addition to being a godly community for those friends. One of the ways we can support them is through prayer. Now you're about to hear some of their prayer requests. Some are pretty zoomed out and others get really personal. I encourage you to pause the audio when you feel led and take some time to really intercede for them. You don't even need to knock it all out in one sitting, so if you spread it out a bit, we can keep extending PLN beyond Monday and Thursday nights. Hey, we're taking some prayer requests. Is there anything we can be praying for for you this week? There's only one thing I'm going to be praying for. Yeah. Getting rid of this virus. Anything for you in particular with your van? I don't have it no more. You don't have it no more? Okay, where have you been staying? In the abandoned building. Okay. Well, that's actually the day of the tornado. And I lost it. Keep me from getting this virus. And keep me healthy. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. I know that's the biggest thing. Are there any other things that you'd like some prayer for? No. My grandkids, basically. Yeah. Where are they? They're three in Georgia. In Willacoochee, Georgia, and then I got a granddaughter that's in Baldalia, Georgia, and I got two grandsons up in Philadelphia. Oh, so you want me to say a prayer request? Yeah, yeah, if that you would like. be that, that go before it open doors for that apartment here because we made the decision to stay here okay. instead of moving on. Yeah, stay in Nashville. Yeah, but we're here anyway. But we're um, what do you call it? We were gonna go to to. to Kentucky. Okay. And start over there, but because of this virus, yeah. it's best we just stay here and just plant your roots. Yeah. Yeah, because I've been praying for, we've been praying about going to Kentucky and I'm just physically tired. Yeah. I can't push myself. I work here and stuff anyway, so I'll just go back to work. Okay. What's your name? Eris. Eris. Mm-hmm. Well, God bless you. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I wish I could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what I need, some brakes. New brakes for your truck? Well, I can put them on. I have a Chevy Trailblazer. Yeah. But I, it can't stop, period. That's my life. Okay. That's my truck. You just need to purchase the brakes, you're I, saying? I, I can put them on. Okay. I just need, that's what my brakes cost. I priced them today. How much, hundred? Uh, no, 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 $29. Friend, yeah, man, I haven't lost my job because of the corona. We can't put nobody out. I work for the sheriff's department. Okay. Quick side note about this request. There's some that we know we're going to be praying for continually, but others, we can actually take action in the moment. I spoke with Ryan Lampa, and he was able to meet Emmett the following morning and purchase those brake pads. Emmett installed them himself, and he should be able to go to work now. I don't care about anything else. I don't care about living anywhere. I just want to get back with Lord. Mm. I got off track. Okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah, brother. That's all. That's all I care about. And there's nowhere, no way for me to take a shower. I don't go on to the bridge because there's people down there that I really don't like, and I can get around them, we're going to start fighting, and I will end up in jail, and I don't want that. Right here, this Pretty much my aunt, um, she had an infection in her mouth, and she's about to have surgery. Okay. So yeah. other than that, no, I don't have any other Do you have any where, where is she? Um, she lives in Knoxville. Okay. How, how about for you guys in particular? Um, pretty much that we don't get the coronavirus. Or, yeah. I'm, I'm actually 26 weeks pregnant. I'm actually trying to get some assistance. Like, um, I was actually coming down here trying to get food and then clothes and stuff. Also, find a way to get help with transportation or appointments because I'm 26 weeks pregnant and I don't have that much like help yeah. for my pregnancy. So, what's your name? Uh, Chelsea. Chelsea. Okay. I got pregnant back in November. Okay. And then I was incarcerated for a while and I got out. My father, my child is not part of my life at all. So. Um, he was there for like maybe like a couple weeks and when I went to jail and I was him was pregnant. And with this coronavirus, they say everything's closed. I didn't know about it until two weeks ago anyway. Yeah, okay. I'm doing fine. Just trying to make it through the next two days, man. Yeah. yeah. What's what's the next two days? Rain. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Rain. That's fair, that's fair. See, when you live out here in it, then it's tough. I just try to take it one day at a time. You know, I just say, hey, I'm still here. And I keep my feet moving forward. I need another sleeping bag. We should have the, like, the bigger ones, though. I mean, I'm not really complaining.
money than the one I had. Sure. She gave it to me. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, other than that, I'm doing great. Okay. Hopefully, I get me a sleeping bag and shirt and some pants. Do you have any, any prayer requests we can be praying for you about? Uh, just that everything gets well. I mean, you know, tornado. I don't know. If it might can get much worse, but you know, it's been pretty rough. Yeah. He's been in the hospital. His heart's bleeding. He's on blood thinners. He's bruising. He's lost so much weight. You know, just you know. Okay. We get through it. Yeah. What, what are your names? Angie and Calico. Okay. Angie and Calico. We got you. All right, thank you. In so Jesus' much. name. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, I wish I could hug you. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Uh, uh, what do they say? Uh, social distancing yes. practice. It practice. Yeah. I need to uh, meet my needs and bless me with a, a full time job. Okay. In Jesus' name. In no. Jesus' name. <laughs> what about your knee in particular, brother? I'm just talking. Bless me with my knees. <laughs> yeah, bless you with your knees. Yeah, meet my knees, Lord. Okay. He, he already knows the hill. Okay. <laughs> he wants you confessing to him. Children. Uh, make this virus go away. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. And you said your children? Yeah. Okay. Just because I miss them. But I know they're in a good place. I just don't know where they're at. <laughs> okay. I get out of this situation and everything. We got all okay, man, with this virus and everything. Yeah, absolutely. That's the big one right now. I'm out of work now. You're out of work because of it? Ten days already. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you in construction? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They don't want us. They've got their own people. And I work there by temporary right now. And uh, they don't want us. I had a regular ticket. They don't want us infecting their people, which makes sense. Yeah. You know. Is there anything we could be praying for you about? Um... Get a job? Get a job. Okay. Thank Thanks you, brother. Be blessed, man. Ah, uh, you too. Just unspoken. Uh, okay. The Lord makes a way where there seems to be no way sometimes, you know. Yeah. Just like he did for the children of Israel. Opportunities to minister the word. Amen. Sometimes I have to look for them. <laughs> sometimes they come at me, so uh, that. Pray this 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 be over April the thirtieth. I know that's right. Yeah. 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 Okay. So everybody can retire Job back today daily. Job routine. for Jennifer. You got it. Well that's all for this week. Thanks so much for being a part of this. If a friend downtown tells you a prayer request and both of you feel comfortable taking a voice memo of it, please send it my way, but there's absolutely no pressure to do so. I would love for these to become semi-community sourced like the Bible verse half sheets. Thanks for listening and praying. If you'd like to get more involved with People Loving Nashville, whether it's volunteering on a Monday night or just giving, you can head over to peoplelovingnashville.com.